Hello everyone, this is Amar. In this video, I will talk about the types of views in engineering drawing. So let's start the video. First type of view is the isometric view. Now it is a three dimensional view that is drawn with 30 degree angle to horizontal axis. So here you can see the isometric view. If I draw one horizontal line like this, then this angle will always be 30 degree in case of isometric view. Now next type of view is the orthographic view. Now what is that orthographic view? It is a way of representing a three dimensional object in two dimensions. So it is basically 2D view of three dimensional object. So if I look from this side, then this will be your front view, top view and either side views you can see. So there are two ways of representing orthographic views in engineering drawing. So it is by first method that is first angle projection and second method is by third angle projection. So these are the two ways of showing the orthographic views in engineering drawing. So they are either shown by the first angle projection method or by third angle projection method. Now next type of view is the section view. Now what is mean by section view? They are taken to see the internal invisible details in an object. So here you can see one 3D object is there. If I look from this side, I am unable to know that there is holes and circular pocket inside this cylindrical portion. But if I cut the object like this by offset plane, then I will get the results like this. So I am able to know the details for hole as well as this slot. So section views are taken to see internal invisible details in an object. Section views are shown by the section lines. So these section lines are usually drawn at 45 degree angle in engineering drawing. So next type of view is the detailed view. Now what is mean by a detailed view? So it represent larger view of any section of engineering drawing. Now here you can see one drawing is there. If you look this portion, this portion is very compact and it is difficult to show the dimensions for this portion over here. So what I will do, I will take the detailed view for this portion and I have shown over there. So this view is nothing but the detailed view of this parent view. So detailed view is nothing but the enlarged view of particular section of engineering drawing. So in this view, I can easily give the dimensions. So this is called as the detailed view. Next is the broken view. Now here, what is mean by broken view? So broken view is a view that allows shortening an elongated object. Means a long object which is not fitting over here, I can shorten that object in a drawing by means of broken view. So here you can see when drawing is there, so there is a sh this shaft having the length 1200 so this shaft is not easily fitted into this drawing so I can fit that easily into the drawing with the help of broken views so I am shortening basically this elongated object into a small size so these are nothing but the break lines so break lines are used to sh in a broken view next type of view is the auxiliary view now what is mean by auxiliary view? Auxiliary view is simply a helper view which shows the slanted part of object as it actually is. So if we talk about the orthographic views, so in orthographic view, we cannot show the inclined surface in orthographic drawing. So this is the inclined surface. So this inclined surface we cannot show in orthographic drawing or orthographic views. So for that we are taking this auxiliary view. So we will take a plane over here and will project like this. So this will give you the details about the slanted part of object. So that is called as auxiliary view. Now next is the exploded view. Now exploded view means 
it is used to show the assembly models in a disassembled state so this assembly we can show in a disassembled state by means of exploded view so this is called as exploded view so this is all about types of views in engineering drawing hope you like this video thank you for watching